know what's up everybody it's your boy g waters aka ghostman fpv back in with another video today i have the all four air unit i actually have two pros like i don't i don't necessarily fly whoops or anything like that or i don't race or anything so i didn't i didn't purchase the standard unit i just didn't didn't really see a point and uh, so I'm actually going to try to install one of these in one of my, my Apex. First, uh, and my dogs are outside fighting or something. I don't know what's going on. Um, so I'm just going to try to install one of these and, and see how it goes. I actually already have the goggles three. I combined it to all of my, obviously all of my O3 air units, but I just haven't, I was actually just waiting for this. I actually did bind it to a couple of my quads that I took to Hawaii with me over the weekend. So, I mean, I, but I didn't, I didn't go too, too hard with it. So I'll just, I'll end up binding the rest later. But I'm, I'm in the process of actually just switching over to to all four anyway so i didn't really waste a lot of time with it but I mean, first thing first obviously i know you guys already saw this like i said i disclaimer i buy my own stuff so i have to get it when everybody else can get it i don't have special youtuber privileges but anyway this is a, a area and i'm guessing it's the some information um, literature who cares and wow they actually have desiccant in there first I've ever seen that box is a bit I want to say I guess it's smaller yeah I mean they, they chopped it down it used to be this long thing maybe a little skinnier but you know so that's good for the environment yes great but this is the air unit, as you guys have already seen. And one thing I noticed up front, I don't know if I've ever, anybody's ever necessarily talked about this, but it looks like you have to take the whole cover off to get to the UFL connectors. Because actually, at the, what I'm going to do, I'm actually installing it in my, my Apex, like I said. So I'm, I'm going to just continue to use the these because I, I rather use the the UFL to, to SMA just because it's just quick and easy if I need to ever change these out or I've actually even saw a few people break, rip out the stock, the stock antenna where I guess they crashed or something and and this and it just ripped the whole pad out from there and everything. So. I don't want that to happen, obviously. So the reason I, I like to use the SMAs is for that kind of not of that reason. I, I just have a feeling that these will maybe break or bend or something long before you're able to snatch the UFL out of the out of the air unit. So that well that's that's my rationale at least. And then I usually print like a fairly thick mount with the you know with the good infill so that it's pretty stiff but not too stiff and that way i think it and i've never I, i've never ripped out a cable so and that that's um yeah so that that that's never happened to me so i think i'll just keep going with that but, and let's see i'm gonna take this apart oh and also as you probably already know, the the front end of the of the Apex is, isn't compatible with with this camera, so which I'm pretty sure you already know. So what I had to do was if I can find them moment. Anyway, what I had to end up doing was. I 3D printed this the parts for this front end and 
and I had to even like build and I had to make these print these these TPU parts so that I can mount the camera at the six I guess a 16 millimeter distance so so I actually found a and I didn't I didn't design these prints um, actually somebody else did I just found them so um, this well I won't be using this this is for the the stock antennas what I'm, I'm actually just going to use my antennas that I've already have but yeah so these are these are what I printed and these are going to be obviously the side of the cage and then these are the inserts for the camera so hopefully that works and hopefully I don't get a bunch of jello or something so we'll see so I'll start by just taking this out and hopefully it's on what they they say that this it uses the same plug as the old three so if that's the case then that would be a make it way easier to do Oh, sorry. I, did, I have to do this. I had, I had one of you tell me my hands were looking kind of rough. I tend to do these videos when I get off work and I take a shower and I have very dry skin. So, so if you're out there watching, this is for you. <laughs> so, and there you go, like magic. Okay, so. Yeah, I just realized that when I looked down at my hands. But I usually take a shower before I come out and do this. So, and my um, my skin is super dry. I probably need to install a, a water softener in my house. But hey, here's what it is. But anyways. So I'll just take this off. And usually these things are just kind of like hand tightened on here. It's generally what I do. But you know, you shouldn't really need to tighten the flight controller down that much. Basically, I just want to get at the at the camera.
And yeah, this is, as you can see, yeah, this is my GPS. I know that's a little different, but since I don't use a GoPro, I thought this was a nice place to put my GPS. It's shooting straight to the sky with no obstructions. So I get very good satellite connection and quick. Uh, nothing's, you know, not, nothing's stopping it, so. Okay, so that actually looks pretty good. And it's well protected and everything. Now the next question is, will this vibrate? That's the next question. If I get vibrations out of that. But it looks good. So for so next thing I'll do is just obviously activate it, bind it, and I don't think I need to show you guys that. <laughs> so uh, so that's that'll be about it for this video. Tomorrow I'll fly it and I'll report back and let everybody know if, if this thing actually vibrate. Or am I getting any kind of jello or anything? Or, and I'll definitely know by tomorrow. That's for sure. Well, I won't say definitely because it depends on what the weather lets me do. But hopefully I can fly it tomorrow. And then we'll figure out the rest from there, really. But anyway... I know this video is a little longer than I expected, but thanks for watching. And any, if anybody's interested in how this works out and you have the Apex or, you know, let me know in the comments what you think about it. Or if you have one and you've done this already, what did you do for the front end? So, you know, so just let us all know. And I'm pretty sure other viewers would appreciate that as I will. Anyway, see you guys next time. Peace.